Hey everyone, TMDF here for some more A Link to the Past, finally. Today, however, we shall be looking at Gerudo Exile by Guayla Gopher. That's my best attempt at the pronunciation. And we have a special guest with us. I'm crashing the party. There will be no survivors. Good, except I'm bad and I need to look at the, the cutscene here. Okay. <laughs> the oven is with us, just like with High Leg four years ago. Tell us about that four years, Evan. <laughs> Long ago, on the beautiful island of Koholint, alone in the great sea. God dang nightmare with like 3,000 bits, 4,000 bits, Jesus Christ. Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided within. Many people aggressively sought to find the hidden golden power. But no one ever succeeded. One day, the king vanished. The royal advisor, Agnum, took power. The once beautiful Koholint became a haven for pirates and thieves. All were consumed by lust for the golden power. Rumor was an outsider would one day come to find the power of the bits. It was Nightmare. He found the power of the bits. Okay. But these events were obscured by the mist of Tam and became legend. I guess I'll just cut that out. I gotta edit these anyway, so whatever. Yeah, I guess I just had to wait. There's the world map. Oh, that's something. Aghanim's evil ambitions destroyed his very soul. His body withered away. Oh, he did. Cool. We'll just have to fight chat instead now, okay. Wait a minute. He's back. Aghanim ruled with an iron fist. He kidnapped and interrogated villagers to learn about the golden power. Eventually, Aghanim found the golden power. He destroyed everyone who opposed him. Eventually, he needed an apprentice. His body was failing. Aghanim realized that only a master thief would be worthy of the golden power. Okay. I don't know, this all seems about right for Team UDF Luck on production. All right, Evan, let's play some Gerudo Exile by Guayla Gopher. Yes. You ready for this, everybody? Nightmare, though. Again, thank you for those 4,000 bits. That will unlock the 200 level for September. Help me. Please help me, brother. Link. It was a setup. The amulets were never here. The guards caught me, and now I'm locked up. Your sister should be back by now. I'm worried something happened. You stay here. I'll go see if she needs help. This was supposed to be a quick job. All right, everybody say goodbye to Cleon. He's dead. He did. Gerudo Exile by Guayla Gopher. Menu by... Oh, menu by Intim. Ooh. There you go. Ooh, title screen by Seth. ASM stuff by Khan and Vtorp. I know who Vtorp is. All right, let's go. The oven will be here taking notes. Uh, I'm going to be playing this the way I usually play Link to the Past ROM hacks. That would be that I allow myself save states to save time, and I'll cut out any garbage that takes me too long, basically. Like, if I get stuck or something, I'll just, you know, we'll, we'll skip ahead. Let's take a look at this world map, though. Well, I already see some interesting structural changes. I mean, obviously, it's going to depend on what the what this means on a screen-for-screen -screen basis, but... Just, it looks like it flows a bit differently, and that could be fun. It looks like there's the the left of the castle is cleared up into more of a plains rather than like that forest being there, kind of cutting you off from the north and south part. Yeah, I do like it. I like what's going on in the bottom left too, where it looks like there's a second mountain. Yeah, um, it's hard to really evaluate what's going on because presumably you're gonna go in via a cave, given that little outcropping next to it. Yeah. I, at least that's the implication, but. Either way, it looks like some interesting stuff. Um, I saw what seemed to be a notable structure at the mouth of the river. Yeah, there's a couple things going on here. It's always nice to see how these guys change the uh, world map. Oh, no. We're not going that way. 
Yeah, the desert moved to the south, uh, east rather. Take that bush. Mmm. The oven will help us kill bush. I will burn the bush. Oh, we got a bomb. Bomb, buddy. And Team, we're gonna burn that bush so hard that we're gonna pull rocks with commandments out of it. Okay, that's done. not what I was expecting, but alright, good. <laughs> Good, good, good. That one's pretty much got to be a, a co-commentator on these, these A Link to the Past ROM hacks. It's kind of tradition by now. I really enjoy them. Big brother! Alright, let's go save Mokuba for the 50,000th time. Is it actually here? Oh, it is! Alright, let's go. We're also gonna keep the tracker on the side because I don't have anything else to put on the screen. All right, can you believe the Cleon's dead again? How did this happen? Ah, Link, I, I broke my ankle on the fall. Take my gear and rescue your sister. The ID that's uh, trying to tell us not to grow up. We need to get those amulets. This man is too old. We're gonna put him out of his misery. All right, he's, he's gone. All right, so let's see if I remember how this tracker works. I do. I did it. Whoa. Hello. Surely we're not getting hammered this early. Let's get the spoken. 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 You know what? I'm gonna use my new notepad. Hammer peg in castle drop. <laughs> Old team okay. UDF is gonna start taking notes these times, oh. everybody. Do you want me to be like noting secrets or just making design notes? Cause that's you can do either. Okay, I was just noting design stuff that I. Yeah, feel free. Yeah, because we'll do the big review at the end, and probably yeah. the, the light world we can separate. Mm -hmm. Do our usual shtick. Shtick! 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 It's not a stick if you can't kill Ganon with enough of them, like... <laughs> Breath of the Wild. God. Alright. The castle. Come here. Some big key stuff. Oh, we got red blue switches already. All right. Well, we already got big thieves town energy going on here. <laughs> Using layers. Let's see what we got. We got spoken red. So already off the bat, this sets the expectation for substantially more complex dungeons. Yeah, it does look like that. Um, I believe I just saw a cannon soldier shoot. Could be fun. It could be fun. Gotta have the cannon soldier. Ooh, magic! All right. Go away. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll be coming back to that. You can take him. Actually, wait, yeah, you could have still have the big key. Let's get him. I'm never able to get the quick kill on this guy. Like, I stand where I think I'm supposed to, but I, I guess I'm not that uh, great at it. Is it, like, a double spin, or how does that work exactly? So I'm supposed to... Oh, I guess I got it. Never mind. No, he's... Okay, okay no key. <laughs> um, are you able to get a bomb to over that rock, or over the thing? Not that direction. You can't throw a side... Okay. Yeah. That'd be nice, though. All it's right. been a hot minute since I blinked the past. <laughs> I think it's been since high leg. Ugh. It's been four Ugh. years. Four years, dude. Look at that time passing. Let's try this way. Oh. Double spin. Go away. <laughs> All right. What? No key. Oh. These cannon soldiers are so cute. Yes. I think there's two locked doors we've seen so far. Oh no, one was the big yeah. door. Be gone. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, so, team. <laughs> yeah, oh, open the door. Are cannon soldiers 
banned for FTKs? <sighs> yes, they are. You might say that we put up a firewall for them. <laughs> Is that laughter, crying, or both? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It sure is! <laughs> Money chopper. Oh, that's a cute placement. I like that. Oh. Be gone, blue. Okay, uh, okay. By the way, if you're watching this channel for the first time, you might see me do this on occasion, where I might speed up the game if I'm walking back and forth through places I've already been. That's part of the time saver. Forgot to mention that. Well, that was a bad idea. Let's go take a hit. Oh, we didn't take a hit. Uh, Never. Oh, right. that, okay, that opened a uh, thing, I'm guessing. I heard a sound. I did. All right, let's go. Go through here. Oh! Ruffle. The monos. Poverty. Potential death is adorable. That's right, Steph. Oh, I should have streamed chat. That would have been a good use of that that area that I don't have anything for. Speaking of, I've got bombs. I'm already not marking things. I don't know if you'll see the screen change throughout this playthrough, everybody, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you sure there's nothing, like, goofy, like, full of statues in there or whatever? Could be. Let's see. Probably isn't. Oh! But... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we still need candle, apparently. That's funny. Oh, these won't. Okay, alright. I saw the difference on the wall there. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Good show. Evan is here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm stealing this pot at 200% speed. Alright. Keep going. I haven't made my save state yet. You get to see that pop up every time. I know they're all excited about that. Did I go through here yet? I don't think I did. No. Okay. Come here, friend. Man, this is the first time I've used this NES uh, Super Nintendo controller in, like, ages, because I haven't done a run in forever. I had to get used to it. Uh, Crystal Switch Chopper. Oh, more crystal switch chopper. Oh, this one we can reach. Oh, the locked door. So that's like at least two. I think that's two locked doors we've seen. The Not the boss door. Do I hit it yet, though? I guess let's look around here first. Peace! Go away! Okay. That's like a hook shot, huh? There's no way we're getting hook shot in here. Well, but we are getting boomerang. <laughs> All right. Oh. Wait a minute. Is this gonna? You're gonna? No. Oh my yeah. God, that's great. <laughs> cool. Okay, that was cute. I like that. We're gonna smoke here! By the way, chat, let me know how the volume bal balancing is and everything. Like, I haven't, I haven't messed with Evan in a while here, so we can uh, increase or decrease his volume as needed. Booming voice of God, Evan. <laughs> I guess I'll hit it. Okay. Well, that could also be... I could actually hit that with this bomb. Ooh, okay. Oh no, he's back! He's back for chopping! Ow. Ow. Rude. He gave you the bonk. Apparently. Why'd they do that? Oh. 
Um, sure. Let's see what we got. Got more spoken. Oh. That is quite a tough room for this point in the game. Got a fairy, apparently. Be gone! Oh, okay. Spookens! Oh, the lamp! Okay, okay. It's all coming together. Yep. See if we can go back to that torch room. So what do you think so far? This dungeon seems really well put together. Yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be one of the dungeons in the sequence or if this is just escape. But I'm... it's definitely an extended castle from the usual. I'm pretty sure, like, just looking at what we've seen with Zelda there, this is just escape. But, yeah, um... that's true, yeah. Because she was there. Okay, well, I need a key for here. Hmm. wonder if I'm supposed to get no. a key before that. Be gone! Alright, uh, let's check over here. Oh, I don't think I ever went this way. Yeah, there's a door down there. So... Ow. Depending on what the rest of the game does with the expectations created by this dungeon, I'm actually very impressed, or potentially very impressed. Okay. Like, it's setting- it's showing us red-blue blocks, it's showing us, like, using the, I guess, the understate of the dungeons, how you're underneath that upper yeah, part Yeah, there's now. a lot of layers, for sure. It's establishing it, that you're gonna have to go back and forth. It's giving us a, a sense of, like, <laughs> the progression of the designer. I, I don't know, like, it, uh, this is all depends on if the rest of the game follows through, of course. Yeah, but it's still very But this is potentially early. a very strong start, if it does. Yeah, they really, oh, okay. Really extended castle, for sure. And, like, the enemies here are very strong for this point in the game. But it also makes it very clear what the game's going to expect from you. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the greens that just walk around and don't even home in on you are like, what do you, what what can you even do that's interesting with this enemy? Yeah. Like, <laughs> forget this. <laughs> but those, we're seeing some variants that are like from the second tower, yeah? Yeah. And those are uh, nasty fellows with three <laughs> hearts. Which... I, I do notice, however, that we are not just spamming the ball and chain soldier everywhere, which is a, a change from a lot of how this is approached. At least from memory. I feel like there used to be a lot of just ball and chain soldier spam. Was that a thing in the past? Well, Parallel Worlds had a lot of ball and chain soldier. Parallel Worlds did a lot of things. Yosh. wonder how Seth is doing. He hasn't... I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, we're just enjoying his uh, retirement. You know what? He's earned a good retirement. He sure has, dude. He's done a lot. <laughs> Where was I going? This is... I think I gotta go up here, right? Yeah, okay. I, know. I, do, I only know a little bit about the Link to the Past ROM hacking scene, but I do know that Seth has advanced the scene in so many ways beyond just the game he made. Oh, yeah, Euclid. absolutely. Yeah. I never met Euclid, but... Those are the two classic ones. Everybody knows Parallel Worlds. Yep. Trophy Chopper. Well, that would have been a good spot to do my speed up, but I just I forgot. <laughs> Rip. Ah, it's all good. <laughs> Take in the dungeon atmosphere. Gotta restart the whole playthrough. I feel like this works from any direction, actually. It's not too bad. The, stat yeah, it's... the freaking statue, though. It's so funny. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's very lenient. The, the catch is, did you catch the statue? That's... Yeah. 
Which, that tells us they're gonna be this trying is... to pull fast ones on us. There's gonna be periodic awareness. This is, this is Boomerang, okay. Boomerang. Boomer Bob. Um, so that's at least one key. I don't know what else I can- Oh, I can hit things from a distance now, like the switches that have the little... not elevated walkways on them or whatever. It's a shame that the boomerang can't actually kill much, but it's still very useful at this point in the game. Yeah. But you know what it can, you know what it can kill? <laughs> What's the, that? The boomerang can kill your pension every time. Oh boy, here we go, dude. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, good show. Where's that, uh... I need the path that's, like, back down that way. I actually need to get back to the other... I think the, the... The one key I'm looking for is actually down below, isn't it? Um... I don't remember where you're supposed to use this. It was in a... It was in a... There was a big table with anti-fairies for this guy. Yeah, because these aren't back yet. Oh, God. Rude. Alright. Gotta stop speeding up everywhere. <laughs> okay. However, I did notice that there was still another locked door beyond that other one we're about to run into. Ah, I missed. Get out of there, you. Get out of there. Um, yeah, I see what it wants me to do here. The only thing, though, is that I still need another key to go there, but I can go on that side path. Oh, I got a lake. You gotta get rid of that, that guy. That guy, yeah, he's got a... he's a problem. He's trying to give you the bonk. <laughs> There he goes. There. I'm glad this game doesn't have hurricane spin, simply because imagine just how annoying it would be if you accidentally hurricane spun a crystal switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I gotta, I gotta just hit it from here. Okay. Yeah. Establishes it's gonna want you to throw the boomerang diagonally. Give me that. Is there anything for killing him? Oh, uh, let's find out. Like, the red carpet kind of implies there might be his placement is suspect. We gotta get him up again. Okay. okay, so that's what it was. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well, that'll work. <laughs> I guess that'll do it. <laughs> oh, bomb. Yoink. That is... That, that has to be a big, big key, That's big key, right? yeah. All right. Question is, where am I going to find another small key? I'm at least curious about this switch down here. It's in that pot. Oh god, it is. I was going the right direction, but I didn't think of the pot. Arrow. All right, off we go. This boomerang might be. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's the best boomerang. It's one of my favorite boomerangs in the series, though. Best boomerang by far is Oracle of Seasons Magic Boomerang. <laughs> like not nothing even comes close for me. Fair that enough. Thing that thing is just so fun to use, and I know that's a hot take because some people found it like really annoying to oh, control, yeah. but it lets you hit anything from anywhere on the screen, and like you can let go mid-flight, so it's not like you're committed to it when you throw it. You just kind of can chuck it. You can sit, just send it wherever the hell you want. It's great. Fair enough. I don't have much memory of it because no oracle for the team Udif. Only up to level three of seasons, unfortunately. 
And I just so, never picked it up. I never, I didn't even hate it. I just never got back to it. Yeah. Level three of Seasons is something I've really come to appreciate the more I've studied game design getting older. Let's because see. it's so compact. The amulets were worth thousands of rupees. This is, <laughs> we're just trying to get some money, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get out before the wizard notices. We should take Selter at the priest's hideout. He'll know what to do next. We need to escape by jumping off the castle roof. <laughs> then west, then north to the hideout. All right. Yo, you ever just want to jump off a roof, chat? Yes, every day. All right. We're just trying to get some money. Come here. Give me drops. Nope. Alright. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Ornamental shelves, Evan. It's finally time. Time to push it. Did it just... Oh. Let's see what kind of escape we got here. Dark up here. Oh. Lights up. A friend? Hmm, magic jar. Maybe torch puzzle or something. Be gone, Keys. Time to die. Oh! Oh, okay. Rope buddy. Rope, buddy. How the heck did they come to the conclusion to name these things ropes? Never understood um, that. I wonder if that was just translator shitting Ooh, himself. Put me out, honestly, and then it just kind of stuck because. Yeah. Consistency. Because yeah. oh. there have been some interesting translations. Oh, God! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? There have been some interesting translation quirks with Zelda enemies before. This wouldn't surprise me if this is one of them. Yeah, very true. That was a good jump scare. Angry buddy. Slow down for a bit? That was weird. You don't have sound, do you? Because the thing's not doing it. Discord is doing the sound. Really? Discord is doing sound. Holy crap. That's, uh... Yeah? You're out of the Dark Ages, Evan. Yep. <laughs> Look at you go. The quality isn't the best, and it's sometimes slightly D6, but it's there. Okay. Wow. Might as well kill everything while I'm at it, just in case there's, like, a chest or something. Have beautiful Hyrule Castle blasting my ears. <laughs> One of the best songs in this game. Yeah, it honestly really is. It's always phenomenal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's the other side of the one staircase. And then you hook shot to get back up. Okay, okay. Huh. All right. That's Aga. Nothing over here. No. Thing over here. I'm gonna jump off the roof. Just angry buddies. After Aghanim took over, everyone began to act strangely. I suppose it's only a matter of time before I'm affected too. Fair enough. He's at least self aware. Yeah. <laughs> Any lore over here? No lore. Alright, off we go. Eh, bushes, plants. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> you can stay up when you're grown up. Or... I actually don't remember if that's a vanilla line or not. Um, could be. Oh, we can go in the cave. We don't want to go in the cave, apparently, but we can go in the cave.
You're vanilla, Devastator. Take that. Yeah, okay. It's said west and north, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's just going around the, the side, too. Oh, that's probably this. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you two doing here? Where's your uncle and the amulets? It was a setup. The amulets weren't there. Uncle was injured and has certainly been captured, but probably killed. Do not worry, children. I know your uncle promised me the amulets, for which I will pay handsomely, of course. But all is not lost. I am sure the wizard moved the amulets somewhere. You should try the eastern foundry first. Go we'll stock up on supplies. The journey will certainly be dangerous. I will hide your sister here. She will be safe, I promise. Do you understand? No! Yeah, okay. Cool shows. Eastern Foundry. I guess Zelda's just hanging out here. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Escape, everybody. Overall, Extended Castle, not too bad, though. If I hadn't second-guessed myself, we wouldn't have gotten lost at all, I don't think. So, pretty A-OK pretty -okay with me. Yeah. Except I'm was... already not using my tracker. Imagine not using the tracker after bothering to put it on. Next time, uh, we make our way to the first level. Ooh. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!